we're launching this Sinn Féin job creation strategy paper and essentially it's a six point jobs plan and it, it's our view that there needs to be an all Ireland dimension to this part of the island is part of Ireland and everybody understands the need to have a single island approach on these issues, whatever about their position on the constitutional issue. So we're arguing for a joined up approach for a, an all Ireland uh, focus under the auspices of the North South Ministerial Council and chaired by both enterprise ministers and focusing in on high employment areas across the island. We're also once again repeating our call for a harmonisation of all Ireland taxation and regulation policies to create the conditions for economic regeneration. We are seeking to maximise the potential of the All Ireland bodies that exist at this point to actually help to create jobs. And it's our view that we can create jobs right across all, all sectors, but there are particular uh, growth areas. We want to focus in on agri food. You know, the, the, the entire agricultural industry is on uh, the rise. There's a growth pattern uh, as against what's happening in other uh, sectors. There is a world food shortage and Ireland is well placed uh, to fill at least part of that gap. But there's also that very unique niche market in agri-food which because of the greenness of our island and because of the uh, expertise and the very, very high quality <coughs> of those who are involved in this sector, we can certainly very, very actively promote it. We're looking for uh, innovation, we're looking for new technologies, we're commending the new, uh, the Green New Deal approach. We also want to see uh, an economic development bond which would support job creation policies which we would like the four main banks to contribute to and we're looking for them over a four year period to contribute between them 400 million. We think this can be part of the, and I use the term, the rehabilitation of our banking uh, sector. And we're looking for support for small businesses. Most, most of the businesses which are, are being hit worse by the recession, but which are also the biggest employers of citizens, are those small and medium industries. So we're looking for tax breaks, incentives, the consideration of enterprise zones. And we're also looking to see uh, a very targeted investment in social enterprise uh, projects and you know, part, part of that, although not exclusively so, is, uh, is, is the creative sector, the, the arts sector, which again is an area for growth uh, for us. We're not going to come out and, as other parties have done, promise to, to bring an X amount of jobs. Uh, we, we understand the restraints and also the constraints on the executive in terms of fiscal powers and so on and so forth. But we think that these are thoughtful, practical, doable uh, initiatives which we pledge ourselves to implement and hopefully to get executive support for that. Look, the last election we fought here, I think it was last May, wasn't it? Yeah. And the SDLP came forward with a proposition yeah. and they said they were going to create 30,000 new jobs. If they could name one of those, I'd be delighted. So we're not into that sort of, you know, throwing figures uh, about the place. Of course, and we have, we have worked on this, and I, I addressed this matter with the Taoiseach just last week, in terms of the infrastructural uh, programmes which the Irish government has continued to remain committed to, the road coming up through uh, Tyrone up into Letterkenny and into Derry, and, and others. Of course they will uh, help to kickstart the construction industry. But what we are also arguing for is local labour clauses and is for apprenticeships for uh, young people so that they just don't drive through these uh, areas with no uh, local uplift in, in employment. So these are, these are additional 
idea is we take it as a given that capital projects, if properly applied, will create local employment. But these are additional ideas, and I stress again and again, which are doable. These aren't just pan in the sky. These are doable. If two enterprise ministers, uh, North and South, met and tweaked their way through this, they would be able to provide proper jobs with decent terms and conditions. Well, what we have outlined this morning is six points uh, in order to kickstart the economy and create jobs in the local economy. Now, one of those key points is the harmonisation uh, of fiscal policies, of taxation policies, uh, and of course the obvious one in regard to that corporate corporation tax. But also, I mean, a lot of people are getting very hard when it comes to the price of fuel. And fuel duty harmonisation surely is something that we need to uh, progress because if the British government, the British Tory government, recognises that the harmonisation of corporation tax uh, is something that we should progress here, then surely fuel duty harmonisation should be the next in line because people are having to face very tough choices, not only between eating and heating in their own homes, but from between eating in their own homes and also uh, the price of fuel uh, uh, on their way to work because people, many people here uh, live in rurally dispersed communities and are spending literally hundreds of pounds uh, per week uh, on travelling to work. So that is something that we want to progress. We also want to look at different sectors including agri-food and, tur and tourism uh, and manufacturing because those are sectors uh, which haven't been fully developed, which need further investment uh, and are actually sectors which actually are doing well uh, when other sectors are faltering at this particular time. Well, I think the, uh, the six-point plan that Sinn Féin produced uh, is notable in my view because these are actually deliverables. I mean, some of the other parties are uh, you know, putting out uh, completely unrealistic projections of how many jobs, uh, they're going to build roads, they're going to build schools, all the easy hits. But what we're actually mapping out is an investment in recovery. We're doing it on an all-island basis. We're addressing the fact that uh, partition has uh, disjointed, uh, has created unnecessary duplication, unnecessary competition. So rather than scouring the world with two uh, job development agencies, competing one against the other, we're saying, right, let's kind of uh, gather up all our resources, let's maximise those resources, and let's take a, a strategic view to develop an economy on the island of Ireland. That's why, for instance, Sinn Féin are putting such an emphasis on harmonising the, uh, the tax and the fiscal uh, regime on the entire island. We are also concentrating on uh, those sectors of our, of our economy that are actually very successful despite the economic downturn. And, you know, the agri-foods uh, sector is a world beater. They have demonstrated consistent growth, a world-class performance, whilst other sectors, particularly within the overall private sector, are in a very significant decline. We're also like pointing towards the value of, rather than just simply headbutting with the banks and pointing the finger at them, they claim to be making now money available for, uh, for enterprise. And we are saying, well, show us the colour of your money. And we are inviting them to put £25 million per year into uh, an investment fund to be overseen by the executive. Now, that's £100 million, £400 million, if you like, over the next budget period. The banks are saying they're doing that already. Business is telling us, oh, no, they're not. So they can't both have it right. What we're saying to the banks is, if you're making money available to, uh, to help enterprise, then put that money on the table where the executive can see it work with the executive, if you like, you know, mediate between us and enterprise that is uh, saying we need the support from the banks or else we're going to go out of business and there are going to be more jobs hemorrhaging. So we're, you know, we're going forward with practical ideas. And, you know, I think this is, uh, we have to go into a negotiation with the other parties after this election. Hopefully they form a good, strong, cohesive executive certainly to negotiate a program for government that will highlight these priorities and that's why it's important that Sinn Féin get the strongest vote possible on the 5th of May.